So what's up everyone? It is your girl JL Beauty 87 here, AK Grace, and today we're gonna get to the new Juvia's Place Culture Palette. So I asked y'all if y'all want to see um if you want this not given the circumstances of what happened with Juvia's Place now. Like I said, when I bought this palette, I didn't know what had happened. So I was like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make tutorial and then like if y'all say no, then I'll just show y'all the pictures of the looks I do on Instagram and we can call it a day. But this is supposed to be in conjunction with the Wahala um, collection, so they just added on called the culture now. So, y'all know I got Wahala one and Wahala two, so we can compare those real quick. But first, let me show you the inside of this palette while I'm over here rambling about it. everything else. This is what she looks like. Focus, please. Today, focus on the palette today. Thank you. So, this is what the inside of it looks like. Now, we're gonna put up alongside the original Wahala palette. they look like um i think i see press clippers in this one too which i'm irritated by because i don't know why they don't understand just like color pop don't understand and care of beauty i don't want you fucking press glitters stop this is what it looks like okay so what i'm gonna do is they got them seven rolls just like they did the very first one um I'm gonna cross some of the rolls together just so we can do at least a couple of eye looks. At least I'm trying to do a couple of eye looks just to see how I can get a feel for the palette. So I'm gonna go off camera, figure out what exactly I'm going to do. I'm thinking of like a pink and purple look and then maybe like a green, blue, orange look. So that way we can cover the majority of it and then we'll just leave the peachy shades alone. Or maybe I'll put the peachy in with the purple and the pink so then that way we can get them both done. I think I'm gonna do it like that. So we're gonna do a pink, purple, peachy-ish, corally look. And then we're gonna do a um, a blue, green, um, orange look, okay? So let me zoom you in so that way I gotta zoom you when we come back and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, y'all, so this is the first look I came up with with the palette. I told y'all we'll be doing two. So the green was a lot darker than I expected it to be. That's what I have dust on here. And as you can see, it's oxidized to whatever that is. I don't know. We just have to go with it because it's already there. It's too late. It's too late. This is the purple that I put on my outer V. I don't know. The purple to me felt like a different formula of matte from um, Juvia's Place. I don't know if it was just me, but it felt like it was kind of be like a buttery cream to powder thing like Natasha has going on. I don't know. But anyway, let me show you what I actually used. So y'all know I had to use this um blue. So I used this blue. I used the deep purple. I used the shifting blue to um, purple shade, which I feel like is similar to another shade, another palette, and it's just less metallic and more glittery, and that's the difference between it. We used this one on the outer V. Um, what did I do? I used this one in the inner corner, and then I took these two greens right here. So I used all the areas I said I was gonna use to make a look. This kind of reminds me of a look I did with the, um, what is it? The Margarita palette from, um, Glam light, but you can let me know down below if you think it looks similar. I feel like it looks similar, but I'm selling this purple um matte because I'm telling y'all it's it doesn't feel the same as normal Juvia's Place form. I don't know what's going on with that, but it feels different to me. I could just be tripping them. But that one and the green one I used, it felt like like a different. It felt like they tried to make the mattes more buttery and smooth. And they have a little bit more creaminess to them than their palettes normally do, which was a little bit of different, a little bit of a setback at first because I was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" Because I feel like it's um, made a little difficult to blend for me, but it could just be the fact that I'm using this baby brush, so I feel like I have to hold it closer up than I normally would. Since I hold the brush farther back normally, I don't usually have that issue, so it could just be that I don't know. Anyway, what's the name of the shade anyway? The next shade, that shade was Edo. Now we're gonna go into the shade Shakiri. That's the um, blue shade. At least I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, so the glittery sh shade in the middle of my layer with the um, blue and purple shifts to it really remind me of the um, what do you call it, palette? The, um, a shade from I think it's from Wahala, the original, the very first Wahala. But I'm gonna swatch them at the end and then we can see. I feel like. They're really similar. Now, uh, originally I had did the mid shade in the front and then just did this mid, um, the back shade first, but I was like, I think it does make a difference. So the mid shade is called Afro Beats. We're gonna start with it up here in the front. And to me, this shade was like the best shade. This reminds me of shade in the video that you all are gonna see today from um, um, Drench Cosmetics and um, Neon MUA, the, um, the 
the lunar retrograde palette that's what the shade reminds me of. I love a good shade like this, especially if that's like for my skin tone. Another good shade like this for someone my skin tone, if anyone's curious, is in the, uh, what is it? The pastel palette from Artist Couture. I forgot the name of it, Ethereal Blooms, I believe it's called. The um, the shade in there is really nice if you want a shade like this for some of my skin tone because you see how pigmented and nice this is. But I did use the Juvia's Place white base if anyone cares. I'm going to, Put the green shade on now and then we'll cut my crease and put all those cute shimmers as you see. So the green shade is called Taraba. I'm just take it and blend it on top of here. I was still confused about why it was so dark. I'm like, why is it so dark? I don't understand. But I guess because I didn't put like any white base up here, it's not giving it the vibrancy that it gave down below because you know it doesn't have any white base to sit on to um, make it just look truer, brighter version of itself. That's that's what I'm telling myself. So we're, we're gonna go with that. And I think it actually turned out pretty nicely. Cause at first I was nervous. I was like, mm, I don't know, but I'm like, I'm feeling it the longer it sits here on my eyes. I'm like, ooh, okay. It's giving a unique um, bright color. I mean, a unique kind of grunge to the look that I didn't expect it to have because it's so bright, so. I'm just gonna take it as a way to I'm just taking this clean brush and dusting over this shade along with all other shades I've got going on on the eye. Now we're gonna take my cute little foot of the BH and just my BH brush. This is from the full side collection and just, you know, cut the grease. Real cute, like. And I actually did the shimmers front to back this time instead of back to front. So I'm going to start with a bright green in the front. It's called Ice. Because there is no L. It's just a capital I. At first I thought it was Life. Without an I. But I'm like, no, it's Ice. And I literally just tried to match this up to where the mint was. So it's like I stopped the green where the mint was to make sure we had a cute little pattern going on. So I'm going to stop that right up in here. And it's gonna stop right there. Now we're gonna go to the other shade I told y'all about. Yoruba. That's the one I told you all looks like a shade, at least to me, similar to a shade in the first Wahala palette. I mean, I know that one is more like metallic and forward, but it's like it's giving the same shift to it, and that's what I mean by them looking the shade. Not the fact that they, um, cause this one is more reflective and um, wet looking with that same color, whereas the other one seems to be more metallic and has like a black base, where this seems to have like a sheer base. So that's why it's not giving, well not as much of a black base, which is why it's not giving the exact same look that, that one's gonna give when I swatch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, now we're gonna take that dark purple, or bar Barona, and put that on the other thing. Look how gorgeous that is, like, yes. I just feel like my lids look like they have liquid metallics all over them and I'm here for it. I'm here for it, it's a vibe, yes, give it to me. Like, look at that, look how stunning that is. And I wasn't sure what to put in the inner corner, I was gonna play it safe and put like, you know, a cute little, um, mint, sh a cute little champagne shade in there, but I decided to go big or go home and I didn't realize the shade shifted, so I thought it was just gonna be more of like a purplish shade, but then I saw it was like a pink and I was like, well, that works. Here we are with the finished eye, number one. So I'm gonna take my hair down, go outside, take my look at the other thing of sexy pictures. Then we will come back and do the look I talked about, which will be, I guess, with the pinks, the um, pastel, yeah, the pinks, the um, peach shades, and the oranges. <laughs> Since I did the blue, the green, and the purple first. Okay, okay. Okay, here's the last look. At first I just did an all matte look, but I was like, I figured we should use some of the shimmers of the other colors too, so. I did those. These are the three shades I was talking about. So this is from the um, palette we're using now for Culture. This is from Wahala 1 and this is from Wahala 2. But you see what I'm saying about how they all have that chain blue to like purple and shift. This one just seems to be more satiny and um, glittery. This one seems to be more metallic. And this one seems to be more metallic than the last one. So to me, all of them look similar in that effect. So they really just like that one particular like coloring. I am mad that's one of my favorite colors to use as well. So I mean, I ain't mad at you. That's what you want to do, and that's what you want to do. Let's 
that's below. I actually put them on before I started because I had to uh, make a thumbnail for the video that went up at 12 o'clock. I thought I had made it last night, but I made the wrong thumbnail for the wrong thing. So, kind of like, yeah. Good lives together in order. But I still got one more video to film. Then I'm going to go pick up my lunch. Then um, I'm go home. Then I'm going to go pick up Asian Game from school. Then we got to go to some movies tonight. So, I'm trying to decide if I should take him right after school. So, that way I don't have to worry about going later on and have to just relax or what anyway so the shade i use i use this one 1960 to start off with this is what's our inner corner right here i use this shade this shade this corally shade right here pay attention this corally shade right here and then i use this shimmer sorry yeah this shimmer right here on the lid so those are all the shades we use to use all the other half of the palette like i talked about so i'm gonna start off with the shade 1960 Try to do my eyeshadow differently than I normally do. The thing is, I feel like it still looks the same, even though, you know, I use a different method, so. Hmm. I don't know. And I tried by putting orange on the outer V instead of putting, like, the dark pink like I normally would. So I was just trying to switch it up, like, a little bit. But not, like, too much outside of my comfort zone, so I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it, so. That's what, how we got what we got. And then I just took the hot pink and put it on the lash line, too. I don't think I have a um, pencil here that will go good with this eye look, so I can't do anything about that, but you know. So that looks good enough to me. Now I'm going to take that Corley shade, called Delta. I'm going to put that right here in the face. I literally just put it right underneath the... Um, the 1960 shade and start dusting that into the crease. And here gave it a nice little added vibrancy and color to it, so I was like, looks good to me. Now I think it's when I put the orange shade on the outer V. Because I figured it'd be different for me, especially since if anybody knows me knows I actually don't like orange. It's one of my least favorite colors, so. with my brush with the pink. So now I'm gonna take the brush with the pink on it, which is Kobo. And I just like put that kind of toward the front of the eye, like this, and dusted it over. And I just left like a little, little pocket toward like the, the middle of my eye somewhere. Cause I'm gonna use that lighter pink too. Cause originally I was just gonna make this all matte look, but I was like, like I said in the beginning, I should give y'all some color, so. Short the back, right there, just right there. Cause I had literally just like a small pocket. Now we're gonna take the uh, light pink shade toward the bottom and pop that in the little pocket of my eye. So I literally just had like this right here, and I'm loving how all these vibrant, poppy colors are like showing up on my skin zone. But I mean, like this is a juvenile place, so I'm not surprised. But <sighs> I'm still always excited to see whatever it does. But there are other brands that do it too, like my Surge palette it has a shade like this in it, and it shows up on my lid just fine. So this is what the look looks like without me having added a little sparkling shimmer that you see on the lid right there. I actually like that way better, but like I said, I want to try out some shimmer, so I was like, let me go ahead and do that. And just take this pink and run it on the lower lash line. So let's go ahead and do that now, since we all here. And now I'll try to remember to do it before I take the picture. So. So there we go. 
I'm gonna take my clean brush. Where is it? Do I have a clean brush? Right? Yeah. I use the old dye brush. My clean brush with this over all. This is on my little last line, whatever. Now we're gonna take some glitter glue as usual. Cut. I'm not cut. I'm gonna just literally dab some in a certain place on my eye so that way, like the glitter will fit on top of the matte shade. So I think I just literally did like right in this area right here. So basically toward the center and that was it. This would pop on the glittery shade. Now to me, this glittery shade isn't that impressive or impactful. It could be the brush I'm using, which is why I don't feel it is, but I don't feel like it gave a whole bunch of sparkle and shine to where I was just like, yeah. I'ma just lightly tap it on with this old dye brush. I'm gonna make sure that all the places look glue. And this is the finished look. I will do my mask. Karen. Wait, no, it's not. I'm sorry. We didn't put the gold in the inner corner. So, I'm going to take this gold shade called Sona. Let's pop that in the inner corner with it. And then we'll be done and we can talk about my thoughts on this palette as a whole. So, okay, now we actually done for real. So, let's back her on up there and talk about this palette. So, my thoughts on this palette are a couple of the mattes felt kind of creamy. So I don't know if they're trying a new formula for their mattes or what was going on with that. But like I told you, a couple of them felt creamy to me. So I was like, hmm, interesting. Uh, as far as the color story goes, I like the color story of this one better than I like the color story of the original Wahala. But I still say I like the Wahala 2 color story the best since this is supposed to be a part of that line. Of course, to what I read on their Instagram page, it's supposed to be an extension. Um, I've... As far as ranking them goes, a hollow two will always be my favorite because it's the one with the most blues, greens, and purples in it. Like this whole section right here. It's like you could take this section out and this would just be a palette for me just fine. Um, but, you know, it has that little section in it. So uh, this is number one for me. I would actually say the culture one that I just tried out would be number two just because I like the coaster of this better. And I like both the looks I came up with. I feel like they were really nice. I don't know what it is about the Wahala palette, the original one. I just can't get down with it. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's this color story. I don't know what's going on with it. But I was like, I just am not a fan of this palette. Like, if I had if I had to pick one of these to go, it would be out the door with the quickness. Like, I, it's just not for me. I don't know what's wrong, but it's not. This one I do like. I will say I'm still not liking the fact that they keep putting pressed glitters in here. Now, I know it's only one pressed glitter, but it's like... That could have easily been another shimmer shade. I don't like the fact that this isn't as impactful as I thought it was going to be. Because let me show you the swatch on my hand. This is actually that shade right here. As you can see, hardly has any color to it or hardly any sparkle to it. So it's kind of disappointing in that a retrospect. Which is why I put it on top of a matte as opposed to wearing it on its own. I just wasn't a fan of that. But um, otherwise, I would say I'm impressed with this palette. I like the bright pastel -y colors that work on some of my skin tone. But again, it's Julie's place. I expected them to do so. So I like the palette overall. I wouldn't say rush out and get it. We all know Julie's place has sales every 15 minutes. So in like three months, you'll probably be able to get this on sale if they still have it. Just like you were able to get the Wahala and the Wahala 2 on sale. So I would say wait personally as far as buying it right off the bat. But I'm not saying wait because it's a bad palette. I'm just saying wait because y'all know I make videos on how like some brands you only check for when they're on sale. And I would say since Juvie's Place is always on sale, just give it a little while. And then if you still want it, you'll be able to catch it on sale. So those are my thoughts. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.